In this video in our How To GAN series, the basic layout techniques for using GAN transistors to achieve maximum performance in high performance power conversion circuits is discussed. The fast switching speeds of GAN devices magnify the impact of parasitic inductances on performance. In this video, the focus will be on layout techniques and ways to minimize these parasitic inductances. It is not possible to reduce all components of inductance equally, and therefore they'll be addressed in order of importance, starting with common source inductance, then high frequency power loop inductance, and lastly, gate drive loop inductance. Finally, we'll show an example of an optimum layout to achieve the maximum performance of EGAN FETs. Using a half bridge configuration, we will consider the sources of inductance. In the half bridge configuration, there are three main loops to consider. The high frequency power loop formed by the two power switching devices along with the high frequency bus capacitor. The gate drive loop formed by the gate driver, power device, and high frequency gate drive capacitor. The common source inductance is defined by the part of the, of the loop inductance that is common to both the gate loop and the power loop. Enhancement mode GAN transistors are available in a wafer level chip scale package with terminals in a LAN grid array pictured on the left in figure A or ball grid array format pictured on the right in figure B. The layout of the gate and power loops are then separated by having the current flow in orthogonal directions as shown here. By interleaving the drain and source terminals on one side of the device, a number of small loops with opposing currents are generated that will decrease the overall inductance through magnetic field self-cancellation. There are two conventional power loop designs commonly used. The lateral layout places the input capacitors and devices on the same side of the PC board in close proximity in order to minimize the area of the high frequency power loop. For the lateral power loop design, the high frequency loop inductances show little dependence on board thickness because the power loop is completely contained on the top layer. The lateral design, however, is strongly dependent on the distance from the power loop to the shield layer contained on the first inner layer. Having a complete shield plane in close proximity to the power loop lowers the power loop inductance for this approach. In contrast, the vertical layout places the input capacitors and transistors on opposite sides of the PC board with the capacitors located directly beneath the devices to minimize the physical loop size. In this layout, the loop is connected vertically through the PC board using vias. For vertical power loop to be most effective, the board thickness must be minimized. The maximum allowable gate voltage for EGAN FETs of 6 volts is 1 volt above the recommended 5 volt drive voltage. This 1 volt of headroom requires an accurate gate drive supply, as well as limited inductance between the EGAN FETs and the gate driver, as the inductance can cause a voltage overshoot on the gate. Inductance in the gate loop will directly limit the switching speed of the device and care should be taken to minimize it to achieve maximum efficiency. The smallest power loop and gate loop inductance can be achieved by taking advantage of an inner PC board layer to form an optimized return path. The decoupling capacitors are placed close to the drain of the high side transistor. PC board vias are used to connect the ground terminal of the capacitors to the low side source by way of the first inner layer, where the dielectric thickness is intentionally kept thin to keep the inductances low. 
An example of this optimum layout technique is shown here. Converter systems with EGAN FETs inherently outperform comparable silicon-based designs, and optimal layout techniques further enhance these benefits. This curve demonstrates the efficiency in comparison to output current, showing the EGAN advantage in a 48 volt to 12 volt buck converter operating at 500 kilohertz. These efficiency curves compare the EPC2045 100 volt EGAN FET against a comparable 100 volt silicon MOSFET in a QFN package. Both converters employ the optimal layout technique, but the tiny GAN chip scale EPC2045 allows for considerably lower loop inductance than the larger silicon MOSFET. This, coupled with the faster switching edge of GAN, has a significant impact on the system performance as indicated by the more than 2% higher peak efficiency shown in these performance curves. The fast switching speeds of GAN devices magnify the impact of parasitic inductances on performance. In this video, the focus was on layout techniques and ways to minimize these parasitics. Common source inductance, power loop inductance, and lastly, gate loop inductance were addressed. Finally, an example of optimal layout was shown that can be implemented to realize the maximum performance of EGAN FETs. For more detailed information about layout techniques for GAN transistors, please see the third edition textbook, GAN Transistors for Efficient Power Conversion, or view more videos in the How To GAN series. And for more information on EGAN FETs and IC products and evaluation kits, go to epc-co.com.